Hello, my friends. This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's quick tip video, we're going to cover some Tableau prep for you. We haven't been doing enough of it on the channel. We're going to be trying to do more because we love this tool. We love teaching it. We love consulting on it. We love helping people on it. Um, so this week, we're going to cover how do you aggregate in Tableau prep. And specifically, we're going to focus on how do you aggregate on a date field and what makes that a little bit unique versus just a standard aggregate step. Okay, so I've connected to my classic order superstore data set here. We got one row of data per transaction. People are buying furniture and binders and envelopes and sending them to Japan and the US and China and wherever, right? So that's the kind of stuff that's going on here. I got uh, roughly 10,000 rows in this data set. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I've already pre done this, but uh, if you've already kind of loaded your instance, uh, your input, of the orders table, uh, I've already added an aggregate step, right? Just doing it like so. So let's talk a little bit about the aggregate step. So what you do in an aggregate step is you choose a group field and you choose fields that you want to aggregate. So I could say something like, well, I want a smaller table of data than what I currently have. I want one row per region. So I'm gonna group on that. Okay, and then what do I want to aggregate? Well, maybe I want a sum of sales or maybe I want to add a sum of profit uh, or let's say even order ID. Now that's typically a, that's a dimension by default, but I can even hit the drop down there and say, yeah, I want a distinct count of order IDs by region. Okay. So what I've just done in this aggregate step, if I go to the next clean step, we can see a little preview of what we just did here. Let me collapse my connections window. All right. My output is going to have four rows of data, right? One for each of these four regions. So, I think aggregating on a dimension, it's a fairly straightforward concept. If you've done group by and SQL, it's very similar to that. Or if you do pivot tables in Excel and pick dimensions, it's kind of like that. So let's go back to the aggregate step and let's say instead of grouping on region, let's remove that. Let's say instead I wanted to group on month of order date, okay? So I drag my order date into my grouped fields and then by default, well, yeah, I think by default, it actually did month, day, year, right? Because you can see here, it says there's 1,000 or, you know, a little over 1,200 unique values. So what's unique about a date field when you're trying to aggregate on it in Tableau Prep is that when you hit this little group drop down here, you get an option for a group by level, and then you can choose your date unit. Um, so for those of you with a, a big background in Tableau desktop, you might be familiar with the concepts of date parts versus date values. Um, if you're not, we'll put a link in the description to a video and a blog post on that. But essentially, that's kind of what you get here. So if I wanted to group on month, I've actually got two different ways I could do that, right? So the default uh, Superstore data set is four years worth of data. So if I just choose the top month, which is the equivalent of date part month, that's like asking for a date unit, or I kind of like to think about it like a date name. So you can see that it's just going to end up being 12 rows of data, one through 12. Here's all of my January data, regardless of year. If I go to the clean step, you'll see this is exactly 12 rows. But we know this is four years worth of data. So the alternative would be if I go to the group by level breakout, instead of just month, I could choose month start. Okay, that's going to be much more like what we call date value month in Tableau. And so you can see this has 48 members. So I go forward to this clean step. And so what it did, it's, if you're familiar with the date trunk function, it's kind of like that. Um, let me just see the details here. Right now I got one row of data representing every single month. So 48 total rows. So there you go. That's a little breakdown into uh, how to use the aggregate step in Tableau Prep and specifically why aggregating on a date field is a little bit different than a standard dimension. So thank you for following along here. We hope this was helpful. If you check out this info button up here in the top corner, we run Tableau classes every single month. We got Tableau desktop, Tableau prep, calculations, dashboarding. We'd love to have you join us. It's our vision uh, and it's our uh, hope to be able to take you to the next level in Tableau. That's what we do this for. So hopefully these YouTube videos are a part of that and a way to really supercharge your learning is to join us for one of our live classes. So thanks for checking this out and we will be sure to catch you on another video here soon. Thanks.